Hello guys, uh, this is a very serious video here, uh, past few videos I've put out haven't been very serious, it's been, I don't know, to combat some online people that keep things going and ragging some other people and fighters that I consider friends of mine uh, online can be vicious uh, but this this video is very serious and I've been shedding some tears right before this video um, because it's something that's happened that's just been gut-wrenching. Um, I know in my life, uh, getting older here, that God puts me in certain places now. I'm able to help folks a little more than I would have or would have cared to when I was a younger fella. Um, it was one day last week I, I can't remember you guys can go back and look I put a video up about it uh, I smelled smoke out here and we live in a big uh, apartment uh, type complex here and I'm living in Colombia South America at the moment for those of you who may not know and a lady had something smoldering on her stove and she had went to sleep and had a infant baby with her. And I happened to be at the right place at the right time and I pushed the issue uh, until help was provided for. Uh, had I not been there, her and the infant possibly would have died. So I thank God for moments like that. But there's some moments that I'm in uh, that I'm sure God puts me in that uh, is just heart-wrenching. And today was one of those. And I'd like to tell you. We all got problems. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this world. We're all messed up. Uh, there's just a lot of terrible in this world. But today was very gut-wrenching gut <clears throat> for me later in the afternoon here. I'm going to try to tell you why. Uh, Joe and I we're so lucky uh, we get to spend all our time almost together and it is such a blessing when your son tells you I'd rather spend time with you daddy then be out here running around with this guy or that guy or this girl or that girl. Especially when they're 15 years old, when your kid's 15 years old. Well, you all know, me and Joe are in the gym every day. Uh, we love those moments. It's hard sometimes to get up and go. Uh, but once we're there, we love it. Um, and we get there. We get there. That's the important part. And we get there together. And every day, without fail, uh, the gym's on the third floor. And there's a little... Uh, playground area 
on the ground level outside, outside of the gym. And without fail, uh, when Joe's between sets, uh, we're looking down uh, into the playground and we see this daddy and his little girl. And this daddy and that little girl, uh, this daddy, uh, he brings her little cat out there with him. Uh, he's playing uh, children's music for uh, He pushes her on her scooter. He just brings a whole bunch of stuff when he comes. And he's there with this little girl. Every day. And uh, he's got one of those pull behind suitcases and this thing's just full of toys. And Joe works out uh, his first workout, and this is where we see them an hour and a half to two hours in that first workout. And, uh, As I said, Joe would be in between sets. We'll be up there and we'll be looking. There's big windows up there. We're looking down. And uh, even Joe at 15 years old, being a 15-year-old boy, sees how the beauty in this father and his little girl. And we started noticing there was always somebody watching him. Uh, And then we figured out real quick, this, this man doesn't have peace with his little girl. And I won't go into all the particulars of that, but one day, uh, about a month ago, I just stopped him outside when he didn't have the girl. He was coming in or going out from his visit. And I said, you are a wonderful, wonderful daddy. And I just wanted to tell you that. And he starts telling me what I already knew, that he was being supervised with a little girl. And uh, the his wife and him had split. And she had allegedly done some things to him, which I'm sure are true after what's happened today. And uh, he said he was fixing to get full custody of her. And then the day before the court trial, she had went down to the district attorney's office and made some false allegations about him. And because those allegations were made, he's under supervision with this little girl. Now, we, we've been through months of this and seeing this guy every day with this child. And, and what we now know is the mother or even I found out today she, she would get a neighbor to go and stand there and the neighbor would be standing there watching everything. No peace for this daddy. And uh, we are... It's December the 20th, and the what Joe and I did for him was they, they still had court processes coming up, and I said, well, you know what? We, we've seen you every day, and uh, we're going to video, video you with your little girl every day. And we'll just take a, a one to two minute video of you and we'll send it of you and your little girl and the times you have it on, on, on these days. And we'll send this stuff to you on WhatsApp. So we had numbers exchanged. And today, right before we went to the gym, uh, we went late because I got a call. And it was the daddy. 
and the daddy came for his normal daily visit to go up there outside the gym area, as he does every day with his little girl. And when he came today, he was hit with the shocking news that the mother moved out of here and left and didn't, didn't let anybody know where she was going with the little girl. And uh, he don't know where the little girl's at. Just poof, gone. And that should be shocking to anyone. And it didn't hit me till later on. Well, we're just a few short days here before Christmas. And I know that little girl is, where's daddy? Because she has all this fun with daddy every day. And I can only imagine what that woman, that thing, is telling this little girl. And I had to tell this man today. I, it just hit me. And I, knew, and I know it's real. And I told this man today, you feel like you you want to die. Today you feel like all hope's lost. I'm not that smart, folks. I'm just not that smart. I'm a, uh, really, I'm a mean, ill old man. That's what I am. But it, it hit me. God gave it to me. And I told this man, you think the end's there for you right now, right now. But this is the first day in your step of getting your little girl and having peace with her for the rest of her life and your life. This is the first day. This is the birth. This is the beginning of peace for you and your daughter. This is not the end of anything the end of nothing. We fight. We're quick-tempered. Uh, offend us and we don't want to really talk to you about it. We want to handle it this way. Uh, we try our best to have backbone. Backbone. To be tough, to be strong. I'm melted today like a eight-year-old little first-grade girl. I'm melted. I'm still melting over that. It's devastating. God put me in this situation, and I'm going to do everything I can to help this man out. It, it 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 just confirmed what me and Joe already knew. It was just a confirmation. Anybody that would get up a few days before Christmas and just run off with their child when the other parent has been daily with that child is a sick individual. There should no child be allowed around parent that does something like that. So earlier in the day, I'd been thinking about problems. Crap I'm going through. Crap we're going through as a family. And maybe you've been thinking about your problems too. Think about this daddy. He don't know where his little girl's at. She's a baby. She's like four or five years old, this, this little girl. She's gone. And he don't know where she's at. It's unbelievable. It's sick is what it is. 
and it's a sick, bent, twisted society that even has courts for these things. If we were godly as a society, society know, would know it's God, the daddy, then the mother, then the children. Uh, when I was a kid, the dads made the decisions. Either they'd keep the kids or they'd keep, let the mama keep the kids. And almost 100% of the time, the daddy, because he'd have full peace with his own children, would have the mother keep the children. Boy, what different days we live in. Uh, it, it's just heartbreaking that this man's going through, through this. So I just figured I might better share this because maybe somebody needs to hear this right about now. Maybe on Christmas Eve, maybe on Christmas Day. We we'll get to feeling bad about something going on or depression over this or that or anxiety over the other thing or the thing there. We can think about that. That man was putty in my arms, crying like a baby. And I was putty. Joe was tearing up. And we, we don't. Uh, we fashion being tough up and around here. And being able to handle things. But not like that. There's no conditioning you can. Get to handle something like that. That you, you see every day. And when you love your fellow man, you're going to hurt right along with them. So I would like to ask everyone out there, if you're a praying man or woman, give a little prayer for this situation. Give a big one. This man needs it. This child needs it. She's going to be looking for her daddy. And she's going to be lied to. She's going to be lied to. She's probably going to be told the daddy didn't want to see her. There's no telling, so I don't know. But that little girl's not going to hear the truth. She's not going to hear the truth, and that little girl doesn't deserve that. So there's always something worse going on than what we are going through at any particular moment. And we've got to think about that. Uh, there's children in the hospitals. There's kids with uh, children with cancer and uh, other types of serious things. There's mothers and fathers out there begging for an ounce of time, just a little more time with their children right now. And you got women like that thing that took that child and just ran off. It, it, not only is it devastating for me to have to go through this, seeing this, uh, it's not as devastating as what this dad's going through. And, uh, it's not as devastating as what a lot of parents are going through. There's mothers and fathers right now that are separated that keep pure peace uh, with, with their children, with the other parent. And this is just one of the saddest things I, I've experienced. And my quite a few years on this earth, to seeing right before Christmas here. And it's just heartbreaking. So everybody, please give a prayer for that little girl and this daddy 
and that things work themselves out because they need it. They need it. They desperately need it. And if you're feeling really, really in the low depths during Christmas, just keep this story in mind that things can always get worse for us. They can always get worse. We've always got things to be thankful for. Uh, and a lot of these things are that we're not going through things that others are going through. So I just felt the need to share, to share this. And uh, I'll end it as usual. We, we are praying in this house that everyone that is around us or sees us or follows us or any of it, that all of you have a very good and godly blessed Merry Christmas.